G'day guys and welcome to Barbecue and Smokers by Beauview. All right, some, something a bit different today. Today we're going to be doing a spatchcock chicken with some, some rub from Kirby and Spence. So I haven't used this product before, but we're going to give it a go. All right, so first things first, spatchcocking a chicken. So spatchcocking, deboning a chicken and butterflying it out. There's the breast, so turn it over. So the parson's nose is pointing to yourself and the neck pointing away. Now what I like to do, either side of the neck bone, you can feel it, and run your knife along there, all the way, and I just join up the cut into one. So you have this sort of setup. Now if you feel the chicken, push finger in there along the rib cage, you can feel the small wing bones, so that just cover the skin. All this excess skin we don't want anyway. It's just... Okay, as you can see. So you can see the wing bones there. So again, just keep running your finger down the, down the rib cage. And you'll feel the skin and the flesh separate away. Now, when you get to these parts here, this is the um, oysters of the chicken. Again, push away with your finger. That way you get the cleanest amount. So we have this. So that was in there. So just push it away with the finger again. Just the finger around across, close to the bone as you can. Now that piece of meat is one of the nice piece of meats on the whole piece of chicken, I reckon. Okay. So that's all the meat away from the bone. Now grab a knife, nice sharp knife. Pop it in and you'll feel the way the um, thigh bone connects to just under that oyster there, there's a little joint. So you want to slide the, slide the knife between that joint, not through the bone, through the joint. So I can expose it for you. So there's that joint there. Just pull it open. And slide it through. Okay, this side again. So pull your thigh in. Okay, so there's the joint there we're after, just in here, there it is there. So I'm not using much force at all, just cut around that bone and that pops out. Then just follow the contours of the bone. Pull your legs, legs and thighs down a bit. Okay, then just stick your fingers under the neck, hold in the bottom of the chicken, and just pull away the carcass. So that there, there's the rib cage, all the internals, the neck, and the parson's nose. Don't throw it away, don't throw that away. It's great for stocks, sauces, soups, things like that. Okay, so let's get the wings all cleaned up. So we have this little bone that runs along here. Just push, put a bit of pressure on the skin. And that bone pops out nice and cleanly. Again, find that bone, pinch around it and push down and that bone will pop out nice and clean. So follow your thumb, with your thumb, follow the bone all the way down. Now we want to cut on the wing side of the bone this time. Just follow that bone, let the knife do all the work. I'm not pushing hard at all and you can see it through. So now what I've done, I've exposed this bone So there's our wishbone here. Leave that intact for the moment. I find it easy again. So push your finger, follow that to the joint. Once you find the joint, grab your knife. Just run down the bone until you find the joint. There's the knuckle. Cutting between them. Okay, so now all I'm doing is running my knife down the rib cage to the cartilage. So let's move that chicken there. No long, we don't have to cut through bone. We just have to cut between bone all the time. So you can just stick your fingers in. Easiest way is to keep using your fingers because your fingers, you can feel the bone. And here's that wishbone. Comes down here. Now, 
I like to try to leave it intact because I've been stabbed many a time by a sharp wishbone when doing this. So just pull the meat away. Now any membrane left, that can be a bit tough. So just run the knife around it. So that we have the wishbone still attached to the book. Let's give it a little bit of a pull, holding the meat down, the flesh down, and you will come away with the breastbone, the wishbone, and those two internal wing bones. So we still have the bit of cartilage left. So just pinch it and pull, and there's that bit of cartilage. So we leave the leave the wing bones in. Okay, so there's there's no other bones except for the ones in the wing. Now what we're also going to do is remove the thigh bone. I'm going to leave the leg bone in. Okay, so so one simple slice. Put your knife, press your knife against the bone, and just one long slice till you hit the other knuckle of the of the leg bone. As you can see, I've cut all the way down. And now it's just a matter of just running your knife down the side of the, num side of the bone. Yeah, both sides. So that bone's now free. Just pull it back in the other direction. Now it pops. So now that's all just meat. There's no bone in there except for the leg bone. Now I'll leave that in because just hold the chicken to a good form. Again, run the knife along the bone and to expose the bone, then just run, on, run your knife on the side of the bone. There won't be that much connective tissue. Mainly up near the knuckles is the most. But again, so. So once you get that rid of the, up the top there, around near the knuckle and the cartilage, again, there you go, just pull the bone back, and out it pops. Now let's give your chicken a bit of a clean up. Any extra bits of fat, extra skin I don't want. Now's the time to clean her up. Just a bit of, bit of feathers caught in that still. So you can run your knife against the feathers, like that. And all those feathers will come out. But what I simply would do, just trim that away. Not important, and you see there's no meat there anyway, that's just fat. Yeah. And again, on this side, clear that away. Just pointless fat, we don't need it. So there we are, we are left with a spatchcock chicken. So how are we gonna cook this? Just get the wings, break the joints of the wings. Both wings, just give them a snap. So you'll feel the joint pop, that way they're not gonna move around so much when you cook them. And again, this side. So that's all popped out now. Okay, so what we do is lay the, I like to lay the wings inside just the leg bones there, so that way it's a pretty even, even thickness all the way through. So that it's gonna cook the breast, it's gonna cook the same time, and we're not gonna have any dry spots. Okay, so I'm using a bit of peanut oil today, obviously if you have a peanut, oil, uh, peanut allergy, don't use peanut oil. So I'm just putting a bit of peanut oil on the skin. Okay. That's the Kirby and Spence rub. Like all rubs, be generous. These rubs, because they're on the outside, you do have to use quite a bit to get that flavor through. Give it a rub, pop it down. Let's repeat the process on the on the flesh side. Make sure 
We get inside the thigh play, inside the thigh joints. So pull the thigh out. Get the rub in there as well. Where the bones would be. You can even lift up the tendons. Pop it inside. Okay, here we go. So let's put this on the heat. So we're sitting about 250 degrees Celsius, close to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm using direct heat. Like I said, skin side down first. And then just straight on. And close the oven. Let's close it up and go from there. We're going to check it after about 15 minutes. Well, after about 10 minutes really, I'm going to turn it and then we might give it a bit of base, a bit of more oil on top, a bit of olive oil, just so it does a nice heat, a bit of butter maybe. Just give it a look, test it. I want to go for an internal around 75 to 80 degrees. Pull it off, rest it for 15 minutes and we're done. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Still sitting around 200 degrees. Now move the chicken to the side so it doesn't burn so much. Get your tongs under there. Look at that. I've just done up a simple salad. So it's just some mixed lettuce leaves, some tomato, cherry tomatoes, and some vinaigrette. So nice and easy. Is that like? That'll be hard. Yep. Well, what can you get it down to? Look at that. Yep. Put that across there. Okay, so there we have our spatchcock chicken oh, yeah. with garden salad.